Hey, the Mad Hermit here, and in this video, we're going to look at the third person advanced footstep mode in Footsteps Scene Designer Pro. In this mode, we use the left and right foot skeletal transforms to determine the point of impact. We can also synchronize the animations so that the visuals match the sound. Let's take a look at that in practice. Let's look at that again from the scene view, and I want you to pay special attention to the red lines that you're going to see that indicate where the actual terrain detection is occurring. You'll notice that they are being drawn at the point of impact and at the time of impact in line with the animation. All right, so let me show you how to add this type of functionality to your project. Now, generally speaking, with the first person mode and uh, third person simple mode, you can use the uh, first person and third person controller that is included as part of the standard assets that Unity provides. And I've actually included that in my project you would go to uh, standard assets, characters, if you're doing first person controller, you're going to go to the prefabs there and you're going to get your first person controller, drag it on the screen. If you're doing third person controller, you'll go to the third person character controller. Again, you're going to go to the prefabs and you're going to slap your third person controller on the screen. But when it comes to the advanced mode, we need to make a modification, a slight modification to the third person controller. Uh, simply slapping this one into your project won't do the trick. Now, what you'll want to do is I've actually copied over in Footsteps Scene Designer Pro the third person controller with the modifications that are required to get this to work. And simply put, if you drag that controller into your scene view, let's try that again. And I actually have. Uh, the location I want that to be at. So I've added this modified version of the third person controller into my scene. I'm going to attach the camera to it. And uh, this actually already has the footstep script properly set to third person advanced mode. And I should be able to just run this and go. So let's talk about the changes that I needed to make and why I needed to make them. Third person advanced footstep mode requires that animation events call whenever a footstep occurs. And for that to happen, we need to modify the um, animation events. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So here we're looking at my copy my footstep scene designer pro humanoid walk I just all I did was copy the animation and I added events here you can add an event by right clicking and saying add event and what I did was I called the step function and the integer value is important because that lets footstep scene designer pro know if it's a left foot or a right foot zero is left one is right all right, I'm going to delete that because I don't want that extra footstep. But that's what I have here. So this is saying that I have a left footstep. And at this point, I have a right footstep, the one. And if I scrub through this, you're going to see that's the point of contact that I set. You could set whatever you like, but that is what's happening. Let me see if I give you a better view of that. So that's the point of contact with the left foot. I'm calling that a step. And then as I go over here, bam, 
that's my second step. And you could you could move them if you like. Maybe you want to move this over. I like it here. But that's it. So this is my right foot. So I'm going to, you know, pass a 1, left foot passing a 0, and that's pretty much it. And I need to do that though to uh the walk, the run, the humanoid walk left sharp, humanoid walk right sharp, the stand half turn left and the stand half turn right. And uh, all that, incidentally, uh, I have my custom third-person animation controller. And the reason why I have a custom there is, again, because I need to modify that and make that call my FSDP um, animations for the ones I've changed. And if I don't copy it, well, then it, I won't be able to save it or I'll, I'll muck the, uh, the standard third-person controller, and I don't want to do that. Also, going back to the animation, you'll notice the reason why I had to copy those animations was because by default, the ones I didn't copy are read-only. So everything would have been read-only, and I wouldn't have been able to add the event to it otherwise. This one I, I, I copied and I replaced, and so it is writable. It's also worth noting that the reason why we pass a left foot, right foot parameter to the footstep script is so that it knows which foot transform to use when determining the type of ground beneath the player. So we get a lot more accuracy that way. Anyway, that's how you set up third person advanced footstep mode. Of course, 99% of the time, you're just going to want to drop this prefab, this pre-configured prefab into your scene, uh, and it'll save you a ton of work. But of course, if you want to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty, you also now know how to set up animation events and what function to call. I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll see you next time.